Hi everybody. All right, for this video, you're getting the bottoms up view of the engine. Uh, we are working on clamping wires to the engine itself. So uh, on the left hand, well, let me get, I'll tell you what, I'll get to that in a minute. Let me go through some quick Q and A because uh, while I've got this view under here, there's some questions to ask, to answer. Uh, someone was asking about my EFI system. Uh, I'm using the Fly EFII system. You'll notice that from the titles of some of the videos recently, uh, not the SDS system. Uh, let's see other questions. Uh, oh, is that a superior cold air sup? Yes, it is, which you can see very plainly. If you zoom in on it, you can see the word superior. Now, this is not the cold air sup that you'll get if you order the engine from fans. That is a different sup, not the same. On this one, uh, where the connectors are is different, and so it's a different shape, so you have to worry about your exhaust, a whole bunch of stuff. So. Uh, but yes, it is it is a superior cold air sump, and you can see where the sniffle valve is sticking out of the bottom. Okay, so now let's talk about what I'm wiring up. So along the bottom, where the sump actually connects to the bottom of the engine, uh, it is dotted along there with bolts and nuts to secure it in place. We are removing those bolts in strategic locations to then clamp in some wires, etc. Uh, we're using Adele clamps for those, so we're taking the bolt out, putting the wires in the Adele clamps, and then screwing those back in to where the bolts are. Basically, in a nutshell, that's how we're securing them in place. Uh, along the left-hand side of the engine here, we've got the uh, line that goes to the starter. You can see I'm working with that right now. Now, once I have that all measured up and good, we're just going to leave it like that. I'm not actually connecting it until it's time to actually start it, because you know, you've got it connected. You hit that starter for fun, you know, and that prop's going to start going for fun. So we've got the starter line. Let's see what else on the left side. Uh, there's some EFI cables that have to go down. So this is this is all four cables that go down through the lower part of the engine. So like the starters underneath, uh, the throttle body has three wires coming out from the left. It's got two air uh, air input temperature sensors, and it's got a throttle body position sensor. So that's all getting taken down the left hand side. Uh, down the right hand side we've got the main alternator line back to the bus manager, so that, the actual like feed line. And it's got two wires also attached, one for a warning light for the alternator and the other one for uh, the actual alternator field so that I can turn the alternator on and off at will. Let's see what else. Also the two, there's going to be two silicone vacuum lines going down the right hand side as the throttle body has two vacuum uh, ports or vacuum measuring ports again because like a normal car that has electronic fuel injection would have a mass flow air sensor right uh, air to fuel ratio is determined by air to fuel well that means you need to measure the fuel and you need to measure the air since we really don't have a mass flow air sensor what we use instead is the, the vacuum ports from the throttle body itself to determine how much air is going through. And again, because this EFI system is all electronic, everything has a duplicate. So there's two air input temperature sensors. However, that being said, there's only one throttle position sensor. Uh, it is a non-essential sensor as it's really only used for rapid uh, throttle acceleration. So if you just rapidly push the throttle in, just like in a carbureted engine, that has the plunger that squirts more fuel through the injector so that your engine doesn't stumble as you throttle up, this does the exact same thing. So it's not necessary for the operation of the engine. However, it is nice to have. Uh, same with the engine temperature probe. However, down the right-hand side, we will have the double uh, vacuum lines. Just along the left-hand side, we have the air input temperature, which is kind of vital as that's used for determining, you know, pressure, density, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So. Uh, the other note is that the Adele clamps that you use here, so normally Adele clamps come with a 3 16 inch hole until you get up to size 16, I believe. Uh, so you need to drill those up to quarter inch as all of the holes for the bolts in the Lycoming are quarter of an inch. To do that, I put them in a vise and then drill them there. To try to drill them freehand, it, that's not a good idea. It's not going to work out for you. <laughs> so there you can see the silicon hose 
so much better than I mean it's it, I mean they send you some vacuum hose with the EFI system it's nice but the silicone stuff that's better because it's like crush proof which is which is what you want so all right next video just gonna keep working away getting to get that engine hooked up so thank you for joining me happen hope you're having a good week see you soon